There may be various reasons for not having a college degree or a high school diploma. These reasons may be based on the inability to fit in socially, lack of family support, poor academic performance, physical and mental health problems, or homesickness. The primary reason, though, is money. In reality, financial issues account for just over two-thirds of students who drop out of college and 79% of students who delay graduation. And although very important, a successful life should not be hampered by not having a degree or diploma, no matter the cause. Particularly as the labor market has incredible flexibility to accommodate anyone willing to explore its substantial prospects in order to earn a decent livelihood. In view of this, our video today explores the 10 highest paying jobs you can do without a college degree or high school diploma. Be sure to give the video a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. One occupation that doesn't require a college degree or a high school diploma is that of a commercial pilot. These pilots do unplanned flights, such as charter flights, aerial tours, and aerial applications. Some are referred to as corporate pilots or executives of transportation companies. Aside from flying, they are often in charge of organizing flights, making arrangements for aircraft maintenance and loading luggage. One will require a commercial pilot's license to become a commercial pilot. The majority of commercial pilots finish their training under the guidance of independent FAA certified flight instructors or at institutions that provide flight instruction. A commercial pilot typically makes at least $50,000 a year or $82,240 on average. Being a real estate agent is possible without having completed high school or college. Real estate agents organize real estate transactions by bringing buyers and sellers together and representing them in discussions. The ability to consummate a deal determines how much money a real estate agent makes and its commissions, which are often a percentage of the property's selling price, make up the majority of their compensation. One must pass the necessary tests to get certified as a real estate agent. Excellent sales and negotiating skills are essential for this position. You can master this if you put in the effort to comprehend the market, the state of the economy, and the requirements and wants of individuals. Around the world, commissions for real estate agents can range from 2.5% to 3% of the sale price of the property. Typically, real estate brokers make more than $50,000 annually. However, the earning potential of a real estate agent is influenced by location. A social media manager position is a job portfolio that does not require a college degree or a high school diploma. An organization's public relations are managed by a social media manager who implements content strategy on social media platforms. They must analyze engagement data, spot patterns and consumer interactions, and develop digital initiatives to foster an online community. A social media manager might create the methods and strategy for the material through written and visual materials that are emblematic of the brand and its goods or services, a social media manager will aid in developing the business of online identity. Currently, the compensation range for a social media manager is between $40,000 and $55,000, with an average income of $48,482 per year. However, location advantages do have an impact on a social media manager's income. Obtaining a profession in recreation and fitness is a career path that does not require a college degree or a high school diploma. To encourage individuals to stay active, get fitter, and have fun, recreation professionals plan and facilitate events. They collaborate with teams in places including nature preserves, nursing homes, fitness and recreation facilities, and summer camps. They could organize games, sports, music or arts and crafts activities. Fitness instructors provide instruction and assistance to clients with exercises including weightlifting, yoga, aerobics, and karate. They support people while they work out and pursue their fitness objectives. They also demonstrate how to perform specific workouts correctly. Instructors in aerobics classes guide students as they develop their physical fitness. 
The median pay for recreation and fitness workers in 2020 was $31,250. In that year, the top 25% earned $44,000. $830, while the bottom 25% earned $24,980. Customs brokers clear shipments of commodities that are imported or exported. They are in charge of making sure that everything complies with all rules, laws, packing specifications, and other legal criteria. They must also confirm that all taxes, fees, documents, and other requirements have been met. Owning your brokerage and working without the help of an organization is one of the keys to being a successful customs broker. Clients and governments use customs brokers to stay on top of all the most recent laws, tariffs, and paperwork required to import or export goods. A firm employs a broker to handle it for them since keeping up with all of this information, which differs greatly from place to place, is quite challenging. The pay for a customs broker varies on several variables, including experience, the employer, and where the employment is located. A customs broker's income ranges from $45,000 on average to $100,000 for those with more expertise. Being a vehicle salesperson is a job opportunity that doesn't require a college level or a high school certificate. Customers may purchase automobiles from a car salesman together with value-added services like maintenance plans and warranties. They also help potential clients by matching the right automobile to their needs, wants, and budget. Consumers can buy or lease automobiles and other motor vehicles through car salespeople. Car salespersons tell customers about the items they offer, as well as the warranties, prices, and other terms and conditions associated with those products. The consumer will benefit from the assistance of car salespeople in better comprehending all of their possibilities and in focusing their search. In addition, they'll deconstruct technical knowledge and translate it into words that consumers can understand. Car salespersons can explain contract automotive jargon and how all automobile accessories work in plain language. They might be employed full-time as an independent contractor or on commission by a private dealership. In the U.S., a vehicle salesman has an average yearly pay of $40,192. However, several variables affect a vehicle salesman's income, most notably their sales representative abilities. An individual or business that is engaged to handle the daily activities of a piece of real estate is known as a property manager. To become one, you don't need a high school diploma or a college degree. When property owners or real estate investors are unable or unwilling to manage the properties themselves, they frequently engage property managers. Investors who don't live close to their rental properties or who just don't like dealing with renters might find the perfect answer in property managers. Many real estate investors, especially institutional ones, choose not to actively manage their investments. The duties of the property manager may include overseeing and organizing building maintenance and work orders, performing light handyman and cleaning work, addressing renter issues and complaints, advertising, showing vacant units and leasing them, collecting and submitting rent, and maintaining regular communication with the property owner about the property's condition. The property manager serves as the owner's eyes and ears on the property, making sure that problems are resolved quickly and that the property is maintained in a professional manner. Property managers in the U.S. earn an average yearly compensation of $49,730. There are numerous benefits to working as a freelancer, including the freedom to work when, how, and with whom you like. You may start working right away if you have a laptop, Wi-Fi, and a method of being paid. When you don't have a high school diploma, this is a wonderful fit because most clients are far more interested in your resume than your formal education. They simply want the work to be done effectively and affordably. This can entail producing samples, 
particularly for application purposes or accepting a few assignments for free or virtually free, depending on the type of freelancing work you decide to pursue. However, once you land your first freelancing customer, your ability to produce quality work will be the only factor that counts, and your salary will be determined by your work rather than your high school or college education. Freelancers make an average of $68,958 annually. That comes out to about $33.15 an hour, in case you need a quick pay calculator. The popularity of virtual aiding has skyrocketed recently because of technology that enables distant labor. Virtual assistants carry out much of the same duties as secretaries or executive assistants, with the exception that they frequently work remotely for several customers as opposed to one employer. Virtual assistants have a good chance of making a good living since they may work with small businesses and Fortune 500 organizations alike. Beyond writers and editors, virtual assistants require a broader skill set. They frequently do duties like data entry, organizing appointments, handling emails, and many other tasks. There isn't a precise job description for a virtual assistant because the idea of virtual aiding is so new. Finding a customer that needs your expertise is all it takes for people without a diploma or degree to be hired as a virtual assistant. The finest virtual assistants are those with a wide range of talents who pick things up quickly and are eager to take on a variety of tasks. These traits will provide them with more career capital and skills, which will increase their earning potential and future prospects. One of the biggest hiring firms, ZipRecruiter, states that depending on one's skill level, virtual assistants may make anywhere from $15,000 to $130,500 a year. One of the best occupations for those without a high school diploma or a college degree is to become a computer programmer or web developer. As its name suggests, web developers strive to maintain the seamless operation of websites as well as design and develop software and applications. When choosing this professional route, your competency and portfolio will be weighed against your educational history. To study and get the abilities required to thrive in this industry, you might enroll in online coding classes. Computer programmers may expect to make between $50,000 and $90,000 annually if they are passionate about their work. So there you have it, the 10 highest paying jobs you can do without a college degree or high school diploma. If you enjoyed this video, watch also the next one on your screen which looks at 20 practical money saving tips. Be sure to leave a comment to let us know what you think, give the video a like, and subscribe to the channel for more insightful videos.